All right, hey folks, that fix a guy here. All right, today we're gonna be looking at installing a big calendar. So we had a big calendar in our kitchen before we remodeled, and now that we remodeled, we finally decided on a wall, and so it's going right back here. So I'm gonna walk you through how to do that, and walk you through the tools that we're gonna need, and let's get to fixing. For this job, we're gonna need a cordless drill with a Phillips bit. We're going to need the half inch drill bit to put the toddler in, a pencil, a tape measure, a four foot level to make sure everything is level across the whole picture because the picture itself is um, probably a little bit over three foot and then an old towel, that way cleanup is gonna be a little bit easier. We're gonna be installing these toggle bolts from Toggler. You know, they're awesome. They're something that I've been using around the house that I've been using at work for a while and um, really enjoy this product. It's great, man. And I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so this is the picture and it's gonna go right up here. Now we're just gonna come to right here because this is gonna be the top of our picture. So we'll come down right here and we're looking at about nine and three quarter. So then we'll just go from right here if that's the top of our picture and we'll just put a mark at nine and three quarter right there. So now what we're going to want to do is find the center of this wall between the door frame and the edge right here. We just want to Well, we don't want to do that. We just want to take our tape measure to the edge of there and to the edge of here. I guess up there. I don't think anything is square in my house. So we'll go 81 and a half divided by two and that's going to be 40 and three quarter. So we'll go to right here. It's close enough. And we'll put a mark right here. Okay, that's gonna be the center. And now we're gonna come right here. And we're gonna measure. So from inside the top of that bracket to the inside of the top of this one is 39. So that is 18 and a half. And so, now we just move up here. So we have the measurement for our center, from the center of our calendar. And now we're looking at the top edge down to the bracket right here. So we're just gonna kind of make sure those two lines intersect. So we just get a level up on there, get it right on that edge. Make sure it's a good bubble across the whole thing. So now we've got a good center established. We're going to take that 19 and a half, give ourselves a good mark right there. Not let that side move because that's just fell down. And we'll give ourselves a good mark right there. So we've got all of our marks hooked up. Bam, bam. So I just want to make sure there's no stud there in there because we're using the toggle bolts. I mean, if not, we would just run a screw in there. So now we're good to go ahead and hook up our toggle bolts. Now it's as simple as just grabbing out two toggle bolts. Grab the big bit. Just put it right in the middle. So then we're just gonna grab the toggler. We're gonna just put it in the hole, pull back. Just make sure it's in there even. And just push. Then I like to take, I just like to take one of the bolts, kind of push it in place, good to roll. Snap it off. And then go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. 
you can see we're all hooked up now. So now we have two holes there. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pop the tape off and I'm gonna erase. Oh, let's see if we can find another eraser. Okay, well, the eraser on that pencil sucked. So grabbing another one. This one actually works really well. Okay, awesome. Good to go there. Okay, and now we'll pop out the drill bit, pop in the screwdriver bit. We'll just put the screws in. We'll grab the picture. Got that side in. Just hold on to it, slide over to this side. Pop that side on. So we're all hooked up here. We'll go ahead and we'll give it a test with the level. And we're money. The toddlers make this process so easy. Those toggle bolts really have saved me a lot of headache at work and at home. I really have been impressed that I found them and I'm gonna continue to use them for all my drywall stuff, right? Like I don't need something that holds 238 pounds of weight, but I do like just the simplicity and how easy they are to install. I love it. So, I really hope this video helped. If you could please subscribe to our channel, click the like button, um, check us out on Facebook, leave some comments, you know, try them out. Tell me what you think. I'll put an affiliate link in the description box below. By checking that out and purchasing it through that, it's just a small way that you can help our little channel out. We appreciate everything. Thank you and have a great evening.